Good morning, y'all. This is your dear old auntie, and I am coming to you, honey, with the tea. It appears that Tyler from Love is Blind Season 7, Baby Mama, has decided that she had a few things to say and a couple of cups of tea to spill. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to let you all look at this video, and I want you all to let me know as I drink my morning coffee. Is she bitter? Does this video, in a way, kind of vindicate Tyler? Was he a man with good intentions from the beginning and things just spiraled out of control? Now, we know he lied to Ashley, right? He absolutely lied to Ashley, child. But he called himself trying to spin it in a way that was palpable for her. Anyway, that's if I even said the word right, child. I'm just getting my morning coffee. Thank you so much to my niece for sending this to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because I got a whole lot of questions. I don't know if it's going to leave you with those questions or maybe this is the answer that you have been looking for. But I know y'all, y'all critical thinkers, and y'all going to let me know downtown in the chat. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Girl, get your cup and sip. So, unfortunately, I think it's time that um, I come out and say my side of the story. Um, I wrote some notes down that I'm going to read. Uh, one, because I'm nervous. Anyone who knows me knows that um, I'm a shy person. Um, I am a private person. I do not like all of my business out in the world for everyone to see and know but that is just the situation that we're in right now um out of my control uh but i feel like it's important in order for me to move on from this and to clear everything up uh that i state the truth um so there was a time in which tyler um was one of my best friends even now he's still the father of my three beautiful children and considering that my intent here is not to bash tyler um, however, as a mother, I'm compelled to co defend my babies uh, and myself and attempt to protect them from a narrative that just must end, um, a narrative that is not only purely inaccurate, but unfair to my children and myself. So with that being said, here it is. So unfortunately, I think it's time. Um, okay. In regards to our oldest child, Cairo. Tyler was initially only supposed to be helping me and my ex-wife. Um, he was helping us conceive. Um, it was understood that Tyler was not supposed to assume a father role in Kai's life, hence my ex-wife's name being on the birth certificate. Um, shortly prior to me giving birth to Cairo, my ex-wife uh, left me um, and uh, moved back to her home state of California. Um, she flew back for Kai's birth, uh, packed the rest of her things, and then moved back to uh california um my ex-wife and i originally planned and agreed to co-parent as best as we could across the country um but things were very very rocky for us uh soon after my ex-wife petitioned the court for uh full custody of cairo um it was then that things started to shift tyler as my best friend um was there for me helping me through this extremely extremely tough time in my life um and for that i'll always be thankful for him and i wouldn't change a thing uh suddenly one day i received a text um from tyler and he asked me if i would be okay with him being uh a father to cairo uh because he did not want cairo to be raised by a single mother as he had um, so we spoke about this. Um, we had a deep discussion about what that would mean um, for him to be stepping up as a father to Cairo um, and what it would look like as far as financial responsibility, helping out, being an active parent in his life, um, being present. Um, and after much thought and consideration, I agreed uh, to this 
proposition from Tyler since that moment when Cairo, uh, since that moment, Tyler has been considered to be and has acted as a father to Cairo. All right. Um, so now as far as the twins, unlike Cairo, the twins were simply unplanned. Uh, if that needs to be spelled out for some people, Callie and Kamari are the results of natural, unplanned intercourse with absolutely no complexity surrounding parentage. They were conceived before Cairo turned one, and I admit, fully admit, I have not always been the most comfortable with that truth uh, due to the fact that I've lived the majority of my life as a lesbian. Nonetheless, uh, it is exactly that, the truth. Um, Tyler was there with me the entire way, extremely supportive. We went to doctor's appointments together. Uh, we even were living together. Uh, he was there throughout my entire pregnancy at the time of the, 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 the delivery and throughout my entire stay in the hospital um, after birth. He signed the birth certificates. He cut the umbilical cords. Um, yeah. His mom and sister came and visited me in the hospital, visited us in the hospital um, after the twins were born, etc. Again, there was never, there has never been any confusion or additional context surrounding the twins' origin. We left the hospital as parents of three children. Um, Tyler and I, as I already said, like we lived together for over a year in an attempt to give the kids a two parent household with the understanding that we were still going to be dating um, other people. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, as I already implied with that, uh, I will say Tyler and I have never officially been together. We never truly dated. Um, but we, um, had these kids and we were raising these kids together. We were co-parenting these children together. Um, and we were, and we were legit or I felt like we were best friends. Um, I truly hate that I had to provide an explanation in hopes of defending myself and, and my children. Uh, I just could not continue to sit back and allow what was being said about me and the kids um, to continue on and just, just be lied on and just sit here. Uh, what's further upsetting is that Tyler was at my house the day before he left for this show. He came to see the kids. He came to say goodbye. I wished him luck. Um, so this is why it's just very hard for me to understand uh, what's like what happened. Uh, the kids even sent him a video um, on his birthday last year while he was in the pods um, wishing him a happy birthday. Uh, so in my head, he was, there was a chance he was going to find love. I wish this for him. I just did not think that that meant that he would neglect his children. After Tyler got back from Mexico, he reached out to me. He let me know he was alive. Um, it wasn't until I began asking him like when he was going to see the kids, um, that I started to know some, notice something was off. Um, I let him know that the kids missed him. I told him I updated him on like their lives, um, but I could tell things were off. He kept giving excuses as to why he couldn't see them. Um, and then one day I noticed that he deleted his Facebook, which is where um, all the pictures that he would post of the kids um, and him with the kids, uh, that's where all the pictures were. Um, and once I saw that he deleted his Facebook, I instantly knew what he was doing. Um, and I was completely, completely heartbroken for my children. Um, I thought everything was okay between us. I never imagined or thought that he would attempt to disown our kids 
we even discussed me and the kids possibly being at the wedding prior to him leaving um if he had made it that far so it's honestly just all really surreal um i was so i was and continue to be uh completely disappointed by all this um and how he was ignoring my requests uh for help with the children and like just seeing them uh so i decided and i continue to fight for all the back child support uh that he owes me um uh, i filed for contempt of court um and that is ongoing and also out of disappointment i also filed to change the twins last names so that they could all have the same last name yeah so i want to add in fairness i understand that there is an argument to suggest that despite him wanting and accepting the role as Kai's dad that maybe he doesn't or shouldn't have any responsibility for Cairo while I and the courts at this point disagree uh I respect this argument however there's nothing and absolutely no context that exists that would suggest the same for the twins um with that uh Tyler hasn't spoken to or seen the tw the kids since September 30th of 2023 that was the day before he left for this show um and that's why I'm so beyond hurt and angry with him about all of this uh because it just it just didn't have to be this way it shouldn't be this way I supported completely supported his decision to go on this show I wanted him to find love I wanted him to find happiness um I just didn't think that involved disowning his kids in any way. I can't wrap my head around why he felt the best way to do that would be to uh, cut off the kids, um, then to make matters worse, lie on national television and say they're merely sperm babies and they don't know what he looks like. Uh, yeah, that it all hurts. I understand this is everyone for everyone's entertainment, but this is this is our real, our real lives. Um, and it, and you know, it sucks. It really sucks. Uh, but, um, if the intent here was to protect me and the children, um, although I appreciate that I, f as their mother, I feel like the best way to do that would have been to maybe not speak about children at all on the show uh i can't my brain does not understand how going on the show on national television and denouncing them to sperm babies is protecting them um and with this my heart is truly completely broken for my children and for myself i lost my best friend my children have been disowned and at this point disrespected by their father uh, I just pray every single day that they don't grow up and see any of this and just ready for it all to be over and praying that at some point I start getting the financial support that I feel like we are owed. <laughs>